sa mga nanonood sa Ikaw, amin. intense. <laughs> Yung mga stories mo sa IG, intense. <laughs> Parang hindi mo maiwasan minsan, mapaisip ka na, mali ba tong relasyon na to? Mali ba na siya yung pinili ko na asawa? Ay, ano ba yan? Ito matawag sa doon. <laughs> Ito na yung version namin ng 11-11. Ano ba yung 11-11? Happy anniversary, love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Us. Not to them, yeah. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Oh, happy anniversary. <laughs> it's our 11th year, and for our 11th year, we would like to share some things with you uh, that we've learned in the last 11 years of our marriage. Ito na yung version namin ng 11, 11. Ano ba 11, 11? So here are 11 words from 11 years. The first word is different. There's the obvious differences between us. Celebrity. Pastor. Pastor. Kalbo siya, may buhok ako. Yeah. Sikat. Feeling mukha sikat. lang. <laughs> so dami nang binabati ko, feeling ko sikat talaga. <laughs> it's pretty obvious that we are super different. And every marriage is different. And the sooner we make peace with that, that's where the secret of marriage happens. I think for most people who get into relationships, the starting point would be, Oh, ikaw din. And then, <laughs> after a few months, Hindi pala. Ang dami pala naming uh, pagkakaiba. Ganyan ka pala mag-toothbrush. Ganyan ka pala matulog. Ayaw pala niya maligo. So, maraming mga bagay na hindi talaga pareho sa amin. Parang hindi mo maiwasan minsan, mapaisip ka na, mali ba tong relasyon na to? Mali ba na siya yung pinili ko na asawa? Buti na lang, there was this one person, a pastor from our Every Nation movement. And you know, so much wisdom from him. He said this super powerful phrase that we cannot ever forget. It's been our motto. Which is? Different doesn't mean wrong. In fact, different makes you strong. I think it says everything that you may need to know. Uh, different is not, doesn't mean that you're wrong, you guys are wrong, or it's a mistake that you guys are together. Actually, if you're able to tap those differences and see where the strengths are and the weaknesses are and fill in for each other's gaps, then it can make you strong. Word. Partners. Very often when we start in a romantic relationship, like she is the object of, of my intent, of my pursuit. And that's understandable. She still is, diba? Right? But there's also a side of marriage that is partnership, which means we are side by side working on something together, like this video. Yes. <laughs> if you think about it, um, Eve was actually made for this. And I think it was the nth time that I was reading Genesis when I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, she was made so she could actually be of help to Adam. And so, you know, a person who is going to just relax, kung yun lang pala yung purpose ni Adam sa earth, bakit kailangan niya ng helper? 
So God's plan for marriage is for uh, the spouse to be a suitable helper, for the wife to be a suitable helper to the husband. And that means if you're married, your spouse is also your partner from God with strengths that will augment your weaknesses and weaknesses that you will help cover. And what an amazing partnership it is. Number three. Third. Friends. For me and Carla, we started out as friends. We got into marriage and we loved partnering together as well. And somewhere along the ways, I think in our eighth and ninth year, it became more about the partnership. Working together, working on the kids, working on the home, serving the church, helping with her career. So you work together and you critique each other. <laughs> We're like the worst. She's my harshest preaching <laughs> critic. <laughs> yeah, when he's preaching, I'm like, <laughs> But yun na nga, minsan sobra namang ganon. Na wala na yung friend. And uh, my whole point in saying that is because when you have a friend, sometimes a friend just knows when to shut up. And just hold your hand, stay by your side, and, and yes. Partners kasi are, come together for strength. I like your strengths. I want your strengths to augment mine. But friends are there for times of weakness, to pick you up when you're down. And that's what we need for marriage as well. So partners and friends, both are important. There's a great tension there. Number four is... Work. Marriage is a lot of work. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. We are made to believe by these movies that we watch and those who grew up with Disney. <laughs> Marami kayong pagdadaanan bago kayo ikasal. Tapos pag kinasal na kayo, it's as if that's the pinnacle and then the everything cruise. after that is like happily ever after. Not. Okay, so that's not, not, true. not the case. In fact, this is only when everything begins. I love this quote that I found on um, a magazine. Almost no one is foolish enough to imagine that he automatically deserves great success in any field of activity, yet almost everyone believes that he automatically deserves success in marriage by Sidney Harris. Akala mo, it's just like that. Na you make a commitment and you should be fine and you'll be a successful married couple. But it takes a whole lot of work to actually get there. Number five. Kung may work, may play. May play. <laughs> Ito na naman tayo sa mga bagay na nakakalimutan namin dalawa, <laughs> I think. Kaming dalawa, very intense na tao. Sa mga nanonood sa amin. Ikaw, intense? <laughs> Yung mga stories mo sa IG, intense? <laughs> don't take life too seriously or don't take everything too seriously. Especially yourself. Or sometimes even your spouse. Like there are so many times yeah, na magdadabog ako. And then I would think, oh my, we need to bring her for counseling. We need to bring her to a psychologist. <laughs> play means laughing. Play means enjoying. But super crucial in play is to not take yourself and the whole situation too seriously. That's what makes play possible. That's why kids can do it. Because they're not taking everything so seriously. That's why they forgive easily. It's just so funny. Because when, when our kids make mistakes, they're so easy to like say sorry. And <laughs> when adults find it, parang kahit na sa mind mo, mag sorry ka na, mag sorry ka na, parang hindi. <laughs> mga one, Mali one day siya. Bago, bago mo masabi na, sorry, tapos labas pa sa ilong. And thankfully, there were a few situations that seemed like they were gonna boil over. He was gonna get mad that were diffused. Yeah. By laughing, by saying, forget this. I have a point, you have a point, I want to watch a K-drama. Boom, problem solved, you know? And, and instead of like dying on that hill, you can just laugh. This applies also like in, in sex, in physical intimacy. The, much of the message we see in the media, in the world today, is sexual performance. That's why God's design is the best. Within a covenant, within loving relationship and commitment to one another for life, you can be vulnerable, you right. can be intimate, you can play. Ay, ano <laughs> Choice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> choice. Marriage is one big choice. 
And Carla just dropped this bomb of a line over at lunch canina where she said, saying yes to this is saying no to a whole lot of other things as well. That's what marriage is. I said yes to her, which meant I had to say no to thousands of women who had my posters on their bedroom wall. And I had to disappoint them with that, you know? Getting married to Carla meant choosing her, not just against other people, but even like against my career, against uh, traveling more, against spending that money on myself. And that's the reality, that's adulting. I remember one time we had a big fight over your career and you wanted to give up something that I felt was a big move for your career. And the reason why I didn't want you to give it up was I was afraid that you would regret choosing me. And you said, but I married you. That choice was pre-made na. So I'm not gonna blame you decades from now because I made that choice a long time ago. Thank you. Okay, seventh word. Change. <laughs> change. You will change. Your spouse will change. So that's one thing that will happen to the both of you. I got this thing from Timothy Keller's The Meaning of Marriage book. He also said in that book, now I've been married to Kathy for so and so years. And all of those years, she has been with 10 different men and all of them were me. How many Rikas have you seen? How many Josephs have I seen ever since we got married Two. like 11 years? Two lang? Yeah, with hair, no with hair. With hair, no hair, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And the crucial thing is to remember that we're married for life. I'm gonna change. She's gonna change, but never let go. Number eight. Process. Change happens, but getting accustomed to that change takes a process. Be mindful of each other's process. Be patient with each other's process. And even celebrate each other's processes. To celebrate means even in the middle of that process, this is good. Bastat kasama kita. Okay lang ako. Kahit gaano pa katagal yung process na to. Some would be fast, some would be slow, but what's important is that again, we go back to being friends. Are you that friend of your spouse who can or who's actually willing to wait by your side until you are able to process it fully, thoroughly and you are ready to move on to the next whatever season or level in your life. So married people, you're in process. You are, your spouse is, your home setup is, your kitchen setup, your decor, your kids, your dream bedroom. Enjoy the process. Okay, number nine. Community. We've said this several times in this video already, how we're grateful for mentors. Find another couple who can tell you the truth and walk with you. That's the best. May ganun ba kayong community as uh, single people and also... Especially for married Especially people. for married people. Yun yung maganda na nag-carry over sa buhay ko. From singlehood to marriage. Kung married na kayo, what you both think? Kasi he thinks one way, I think another way. Sometimes they agree completely, sometimes not. And so when that happens, we have to seek out our mentors and say, okay, here's the problem. This is what he says and this is what I say. What do you guys think? Yun nga, parang pag may ibang tao, you are forced to clarify your thoughts which you couldn't or would have, wouldn't have been able to do otherwise when it was just the two of you. Yeah. Dahil nga, heated na yung argument. So yeah, have a community that will know you, that will love you, that will speak both truth and love to you and your relationship with your spouse. Number 10, loss. Marriage is full of loss. The most painful thing you will lose are things you should be losing. Your pride, your self-sufficiency, your independence, your desire to hold on to your dysfunctions. No one wants to hear that, that you are supposed to lose yourself so that this marriage can actually come to life. And I don't know if a lot of people really realize that na when you become one, you actually become a new body. So you're not keeping your old self anymore. The insignificant parts of you that you know won't find a place in marriage, you gotta lose those things so the marriage can come to life. Yeah. Number 11, hope. Hope. Para 
hopeful. <laughs> like one of the best gifts we can give to our partner is to be the one to hope the most for them. Even when they don't hope in them for themselves anymore. Now, Lord, wala na. Di na ako magbabago. Hindi. I can see who God made you to be. And I know it will come out. I think I'll just use something that I learned from Pastor Joel and Miss Jenny when they spoke. They were saying that when you cannot see hope for your spouse, you actually are not doubting your spouse, but you are doubting the power of God because God has the power yeah. to recreate a person. Yeah. There were many things about me that were changed Nah, I never thought I would or that I could. When we don't have the eyes of faith and eyes of hope to see that about our spouses, that's really internally an issue of I'm doubting that God can actually work on this person. The most hurtful things I've done to Carla have come from a place of hopelessness where I feel like she's never gonna get it. She's never gonna change. She's always been like this. I have to do, I have to say black. And the best things I've done for Carla have been from places of hope. Where you know what? People are saying this. You might even think this. I know I said this in the past, but no, that's not true. I see something here. This is gonna be amazing. It's always good to hope. In Jesus, we have the hope. I think also hope provides... Ending na yun eh, pero sige. Sige, wag na lang. No, 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 go. Hindi na lang. So there goes our 11 words for our 11th year. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining. I'm not sure if you're single or you're married, but I hope you know the things that we said will somehow encourage you and help you in your own journey in life. And any last words about marriage? It's amazing. Nothing. Good It's amazing. It's a good choice. Di ako ito. Meron ako naisip kanina habang nasa banyo ako. Di ba? You usually get insights pag nagbabanyo. When you have children, the whole point of raising them is so that you can let them go. But the whole point of marriage is to vow from the very beginning of it to never let go. That's a very interesting... Wow. Good decision. And I just... And I'm gonna stop myself from crying while saying this, but this is what God wants for us. That He will never let go. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna cry. This is the illustration that God uses for Himself and us. His bride, the church, marriage. And this is what he wants for us, to never let us go. How long were you in the bathroom? That's really good. It's like three minutes. <laughs> Umihi lang ako actually. Good job. So, alam mo na yung mga, so until my next ihi. What? Why am I saying that? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you want to see more videos like this, please do say it at the comment section below. And um, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Bye. Bye.